Hi everyone and welcome back to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making stuffed shells. And I'm going to give you some um, measurements, but you don't have to stick to them. You can um, add or delete whatever you want. So in this bowl I have frozen broccoli. I did not cook it. If you like it cooked, cook it ahead of time. These are going to go in the oven for an hour, so you really don't need to cook it. You could also use fresh. If you want to cook it ahead of time, if you like it a little more crisp, then don't cook it. So I have here homemade um, bolognese sauce that I made, and I needed to use it up. I had it in the freezer, so I warmed that up. I did two bags of um, noodles because these are really small shells. Normally the shells come really big, but I could not find them anywhere. So I'm, I'm going to make a lot of these because you, since you're making the mess, Anyways, these freeze really good for a, you know, if a meal when you come home from work or whatever. So let's get started. So in this bowl I have my broccoli and you're going to need um, one egg and one egg yolk, a half to one cup of seasoned breadcrumbs, 24 ounces of whole ricotta milk, 16 ounces of mozzarella, garlic pepper to taste, salt and pepper to taste, and you need sauce. All right, so I have one egg and one egg yolk here, and I'm just going to mix it up a little bit, break it up so it's easier to mix in. Put that in. I'm going to start out with a quarter cup of breadcrumbs, and I'm going to see how it um, comes together at the end. It depends on how wet your cheese is. Um, I'm using full fat. If you don't use full fat, you're going to have a lot of water on the bottom as it bakes. So use full fat ricotta that goes in the bowl. And if you don't like ricotta, you could always use cottage cheese. Um, and also, if you don't like broccoli, you can use um, spinach, but just make sure it's drained really good. Everything you put into here has to be drained really good. All right, so now I'm going to add a handful of this Quattro Formaggio I got from Trader Joe's. It was in my freezer. I'm just going to use it. I'm going to put a couple handfuls in. We'll see how it looks. Like I said, this is all up to you guys. I had some Italian-style cheese in my freezer I needed to use, so I'm going to do a handful of that. And I have some four-blend pizza cheese. I'm going to do a handful of that. Now, make sure that you leave some cheese for the top because you're going to put cheese on the top. Here's just regular mats that I needed to use. And then we're just going to mix this together. And once I mix it a little bit, I'll put in the salt and pepper. I just want to see what it looks like. It's coming in for a few. This looks so good. Just make sure you mix in the ricotta really, really well. Okay, let's add our garlic powder. And I don't measure, I just put in what I think it looks good. Some pepper, and this is fresh ground. And some salt. Now be easy on the salt because some of these cheeses are full of salt and it might get too salty for you. So this is coming together really good. I don't think I'm going to add any more breadcrumbs. I think that was just enough. You don't want to add too much because then it just becomes like breadcrumb and with a little bit of mixture and you want to taste those cheeses. All right, so here's my mixture. What we're going to do is I'm going to move this mixture over to a bag so I can squeeze into these. So I'll be right back. All right, so I have my filling in a large Ziploc. We closed it, took all the air out. I put a rubber band around it just so it's it's easier to squeeze. I did a big hole because remember the broccoli has to come through it. So let's get started. So in your pan you're going to put a little bit of your sauce in the bottom of the pan. And this sauce smells delicious. Um, I will be making sauce sometime soon so you'll get that recipe. I just don't have time to do it today. Okay, so now we have sauce in the bottom of our pan evenly. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a shell, 
Make sure they're make sure they're cool and dry. And you're just going to squeeze right into your shell and then kind of push it in. These shells are really small, you guys. So it's going to take a lot of shells to fill somebody, but now we're just going to put it in the in there and when I'm done, I'll show you all the rest of them. I'll do a few more for you. And make sure you get like the noodle unstuck to it itself. And you know, you want a lot of cheese and stuff in them so they taste good. I'll do one more and then I will finish up so you guys don't have to sit here being bored watching me fill all these shells. And then I will show you what we do at the end. All right? I'll be right back. So now we have them all filled, and I filled them really full. And you're going to put your sauce over the top. Just make sure they're all covered pretty good because this is going to bake on. too hard because your cheese will come out but I just wanted to see make sure it's covered good all right and then what you're going to do is you're going to put cheese on top any kind you want as much as you want the main thing is um to get the right um mixture for inside is um, follow the directions of the cheeses inside the mix, like um, mainly the um, the ricotta. Sorry, you guys, um, and the egg and the um, breadcrumbs because that's what's going to hold it all together for you. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of different cheeses on mine just because I like it, and then you're going to put this in a preheated oven of 350 degrees, and you're going to cook it for an hour. Like I said, these freeze really, really nice. So, um, you know, make it while you're making a mess like this, do extra. And remember, you have neighbors that are older, might need some food or something. You know, watch out for each other and help each other. Like, I'm going to make a small pan for each of my neighbors here. All right, and that's it. All right, so here are the finished pro um, product. Uh, they're ready to go in the oven, and um, when you put them in the oven, remember 350 for an hour, and once they come out, let them cool completely, and then you can wrap them in um, saran wrap, plastic wrap, and then heavy duty foil, really tight, and they'll stay in your freezer for about maybe three to four months. So that's why I say make it, make a couple extras while you're doing the work. So I will show you the finished product as soon as it comes out of the oven. All right, so after an hour, these came out of the oven, done. And this is how you want it to look. You want your cheese to be brown and crisp. All right, so here's our finished product. Here's our cucumbers and onion. I did um, bake up some um, garlic bread to go with these stuffed shells, and you have a whole meal. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you. Thank you.